Welcome to Math with Professor V. I have a new integral of the day for you all, and it's in honor of Pi Day, so stay tuned and see what the answer is going to be. So we have here a definite integral, three times definite integral from zero to two thirds of the square root of four minus nine x squared dx. So hopefully you recognize right off the bat, this is the time to use trig sub because I look underneath the radical and I have that quadratic expression and there is no x to the first or something sitting outside for me to do a u sub, right? So which trig sub is appropriate here? Let's list out all our options, that way you guys can keep them straight. So when you have a constant squared plus a variable squared, then you let x equal a tan theta. When you have a constant squared minus a variable quantity squared, you let x equal a sine theta. And then lastly, if it's the other way around, so variable uh, quantity squared minus constant squared, then you let x equal a secant theta. Those are the only three. Please don't go inventing any new ones, okay? Thank you so much. So which of these three forms does the radicand match? We have a constant minus a variable quantity squared. So that's going to be option number two right here involving sine theta. Now sometimes this nine will really trip students up. So what I want you to notice is four squared minus nine x squared, not four squared, it's just four, I got too excited, is two squared minus the quantity three x squared. Okay, so you can see here, all right, a is equal to two, and 3x is my entire variable quantity. So the substitution I'm going to make is let 3x equal a, or 2, sine theta. Take a second. Can you see that? Okay, very good. So then from here, now we're going to go ahead, work on switching all of our limits and uh, the differential to be in terms of theta. So taking the derivative of both sides, we have 3dx equals 2 cosine theta d theta and then that means dx is two-thirds cosine theta d theta okay and also too from here you can say oh we're making the substitution x is two-thirds sine theta all right there is something else we need to change as well did you spot what it is yes our limits of integration so currently these limits belong to the variable of the original integral, which is x. We need to switch them to be in terms of theta. So how do you do that? Well, come along here. They belong to x. So I'm going to substitute them for x right here, where I decided which trig sub to use. So 2 thirds, my upper limit, equals 2 thirds sine theta. That means 1 equals sine theta. 1 is sine equal to 1. Very good, at pi over two. And then the lower limit of zero equals two thirds sine theta. That would mean zero is sine theta. When does that happen? Yes, when theta is zero. So those are my new limits of integration, zero and pi over two. Why is there a three out front? I added that, okay, you'll see why, just to make this integral extra special. So now we have, 3 integral 0 to pi over 2 and then we had square root it was 4 minus 9x squared which remember that's 3x quantity squared well what's 3x equal to 2 sine theta so we have 2 sine theta squared and then dx, what's dx equal to? You have it right here, 2 thirds cosine theta d theta. How are we doing? Good? Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so then now let's clean up a little bit. So we have 3 integral 0 to pi over 2 square root. This is 4 minus 4 sine squared theta times 2 thirds cosine theta d theta. 
And then remember, the whole point of doing trig sub is so that you can use a Pythagorean identity here. So if I take the 4 out, then I have 1 minus sine squared theta, which is mm -hmm, 4 times cosine squared theta. So since that's all sitting underneath the radical, right, that's just going to end up giving me 2 cosine theta. And then you still have 2 thirds cosine theta, d theta, and all the other good stuff here. Now remember, when you take the square root of something that's squared, you really have absolute value of that quantity, but we restricted the angle. We restricted theta to make sure this was gonna be positive. And you can see from zero to pi over two, we're good. We're in quadrant one. Okay, next thing I always tell my students, take the constants outside of the integral so they leave you alone. And nicely here, these threes cancel. So I'm just gonna have four sitting outside. Four times the definite integral from zero to pi over two. Cosine theta times cosine theta, we've got cosine squared theta d theta. Very good. Do you know how to proceed from here? So we have to replace cosine squared theta with our half angle identity. One half times one plus cosine two theta. How do I know that? Because that's the only way to integrate cosine squared. Don't try anything else. This is the only way. Don't replace it with one minus sine squared. That's gonna do nothing for you. So sorry. And then again, four and one half, let's just clean those up, take it outside. So we have two. And then now we can go integrate term by term. So antiderivative of one is gonna be theta. And then antiderivative of cosine two theta, that would be one half sine 2 theta, and we're evaluating all of this from 0 to pi over 2. Beautiful. Okay, so then now we have 2 times, this is pi over 2 plus 1 half times sine of 2 times pi over 2, that's sine of pi, minus 0, minus 1 half sine of 0. So let's see. Sine of pi, that's zero. The rest are all zero. And then lo and behold, all I'm left with is two times pi over two, which is pi. So happy pi day. Today's March 14th, 2024. I'll be celebrating with my class. I celebrated with two other classes earlier because I wouldn't see them today and they did not want to be left out of the festivities. So. If you want to see what's happening in real time, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Math with Professor V. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, homage to Pi Day today. And then you can check out the rest of my YouTube channel. I have full length video lectures for calculus one, two, three, and more, and they're organized into playlists. So if you're struggling in any of your classes, you've definitely come to the right place. And if you have any other requests or questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you want access to more exclusive content, then you need to join my membership on my YouTube channel or my Patreon. All the info is in the description. Love you all. Hope you have fun celebrating Pi Day. I'll be back soon.